What's going on everyone and welcome back to a new video on the channel. Welcome to some Forza Horizon 5 with a brand new week. Um, new car as well. So I want to check this out because this is a super, super sick car. We've had this, I'm pretty sure, in previous Forza Motorsport games. But never in a Horizon game. We have the 911 RSR and I want to try it. I think this is going to be such a fast car. It's going to be really, really sick. 2017 911 RSR. Uh, let me go grab it real quick and take it out. Also, while I'm doing this, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. Like I said in previous videos, if you guys have seen any of them, um, you'll see that whenever I actually mention for you guys to subscribe at the start of videos, there's a much bigger bump in subs. So uh, I need to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel. And thank you for those of you that have been subscribing over the past little while. It actually does make a big difference. Uh, and also... Uh, helping out to get to 400k or closer to 400k. Well, here it is the 911 RSR. It sounds crazy, it's so wide. It's so wide. Of course, we're still in the week where we're just getting constant crazy race cars. And this is one of them. This is one of them. This is the latest and the last one now, I'm pretty sure. The last race car that we're actually going to be getting from the festival playlist, from the DLC, from whatever. After this, it's done. It's going to be a new week next week. And uh, we're going to be doing something else, but... Yeah, I've been looking forward to this thing because I just love how wide it is. It's so, so good looking. There's also one Porsche 911. Uh, G uh, just look up Indecent. Just look up Indecent 911 and oh my, just, oh my god. They have now a 991, uh, which is this, a 991 GT3 with the wide body and decent kit oh my god i don't think there's a car that i i want more in my life than that one at the moment it looks mental i adore that car with everything it is so sick i think i'll try put, put a picture up on the screen of it because it just looks insane and i love one so much but obviously um first of all i had to buy a 911 and then second of all i had to go and pay for the kit which just looks like it could be a one-off because I haven't seen any other one with that kit. It just, I've, I've only seen one car, but it's nuts. I think Indecent makes like some insane kits for 911s. I think even nicer looking than RWB, okay? Uh, that's just me. I prefer molded wide body kits to the bolted on ones that look like they have like the studs all the way around. I prefer the molded kits. That's That's just me. I feel like some people are going to disagree with me, but I prefer it. Like, look how good this looks as well. Like this. It looks so, so nice. Um, well, we can't really change anything else on this car. Uh, well, sorry, we can. But we can't really change anything uh, at the moment. Because what I want to do with it is I want to go ahead and take this thing out on the track. Just like I've been testing pretty much every other car that we've had so far. And tested it out on the tracks to try and see what they're like. But initially, I kind of just wanted to hop on and... Show you guys what this thing looks like as well, because, again, look at it. It looks so good. So, so good. Ah, oh, it looks nuts inside as well. Lots of buttons and switches and knobs and everything. Just what you'd expect. This is like an even more stripped down version of the other 911 that we had. Uh, also in, uh, in the car pack, right? It looks even more extreme. Also, this is in S2. 910 so this should kind of keep up with the the likes of the uh the 4 gt and all that so what well, let me get this list up again real quick so the fastest car that we've had so far is the ferrari 488 and then it's the 4 gt then the corvette then the bmw m8 those are the fastest s2 910 cars that we've had uh go around the track so what i want to do is do the exact same thing take this car out over onto that track and check it out see what it's like see what i'm able to actually do with it it seems really nice to drive. Very, very nice, actually. But, um, yeah, we'll see what it does like, uh, or what it goes like, versing these cars. So, 503 horsepower, 462 newton meters of torque, weighs 1,300 kilos. Let's get to actually driving this thing, though. Oh, man, I just love the way it looks so much. I don't know, I'm just a Porsche guy. I love them. I love them. They're, they're, they're like, simple, but, like, wide, and 
even though they kind of look cute they're actually like super aggressive ah, i just i don't know i love it it looks it looks class um all right everything's there like that leave that alone all right let's uh let's head out and see what sort of times we get so it should be somewhere between 128 and 126. I need to land somewhere there with this thing. Same steering. I haven't adjusted anything on this guy, so pretty much just the way you get it. That's what I wanted to test out. And then time this car on this track. So far, it seems good. So far, it seems very good. Like. The 4, 5, 488, that's what it's called, the 458. The 488 was significantly faster than the 4 GT. That is like in a in a division of its own even, even though they are the same class. They're basically the same S2 910 cars in this game. The 488 was just significantly faster. It was just something about it. I don't know what it is, but they just made it really, really fast compared to these cars. So we'll see if the glorious 911 RSR can get close to it. Let's see if this is able to be uh, somewhere in the vicinity of it. That is the question. Am I able to, come to, to do that? The other 911 is a different class, so that's, it's not even, it's like it's a different, it's even like a different type of race here, so I'm not even going to try to compare it to that. That was a voice track and a half. First lap down, 130.5. Okay. Okay. That's the standing start lap. Let's try the rolling lap and see what's... What's what. Okay. I mean... I feel like I'm going a bit too fast for some of these corners. Like, those those initial ones anyway. Those, those first couple of corners. I think I need to slow down a tiny bit. Try and prioritize my line over my speed. I had to go a little wide there, also. I was just gonna not make it through that corner. If I was gonna go a bit tighter, I would have floored it and then I would have slipped and I would have just ended up sliding. So, a tiny bit wider, even if I knock just two wheels off. It's better than sliding. Okay. Nice and clean. Alright. What's the first rolling lap time that, that we're going to get? That is the question. I'm going to guess 127.8. 127.8 is what I'm guessing. Am I off or am I close? You've got to be... Me. You've got to be f nah, man. This is a joke. This is a joke. What the f the Ferrari got a one twenty six four five three. Oh, I wonder what this car got. <laughs> what the f <laughs> wait? What the hell? That's ridiculous. There is no way that, like, not even if I could have planned it, I could have gotten closer to the 488. That's ridiculous. It's going to be faster than the 488. This is now, I think, the fastest car of the lot of them. Completely stuck. Well, they're not stuck, but, like, without me changing anything in them. That's ridiculous, man. I'm I'm honestly speechless. Oh, I kept it too wide there. This is this was gonna be a slower lap. I've just I'm just too like set back. Oh, I don't even know what to say. Seriously, I like. I'm gonna try and lengthen this lap because I don't want it to. Yeah, there we go. 
I don't want it to be my fastest lap because I made mistakes on it. Oh, and I cut a little bit too much. And I kind of ignored the boundaries of the track a little bit too much. So I feel like I can't really do that and then get a time, you know what I mean? Because it'll be a bit it'll be a bit stupid and a bit like cheatsy. I don't I don't really want to cheat. See, I think like that's fine. Right? Because I just went too fast and I went too wide. So technically. Technically that's fine. Oh man, exiting the corners all even with a little bit of slip, it's it's really, really good. It's an incredibly balanced car, by the way. Like I said before, the, the 488. Oh, I've lost it. It's gone. The 488 is super, super balanced because it's mid-engined, uh, rear-wheel drive. This being rear-engined is a little bit more weird to drive, just a tiny bit. But the front end is still like light. It just is still really, really well balanced. And even in the video game, Porsches do have a very weird, heavy rear-end type of feel. So even if it is a video game, and even if it is just Forza physics they still kind of got it closer to what the real car is like if that makes sense like they, they've done a good job in trying to simulate what it's like even a little bit i know it's arcade and all that but still anyway this is the final lap let's try to do a good one here because uh, i'm still like honestly in shock that i i managed to get a 126 453 literally the same time Literally the ident an identical time to the 458 or 488. That's ridiculous. That is crazy. Right. Come on. So far, not bad. One, break, 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 break. Nice, smooth, and then floor it. Do the same here, try to stay wide. That's a little off. I think I was a tiny bit off there with my driving line. I don't think this is faster. I think I made too many mistakes. Well, I did make too many mistakes. This is slower. There's no way I pulled the what this the exact. I put my controller down and it turned off. Fantastic. Um, there's no way I pulled the exact same time. Like how? I, I I don't even know what to say. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. It is technically tied as the fastest car. That we've had so far. I'm just gonna call this video this the 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 fastest the the Porsche 911 is the fastest car. It just is. I mean, it's tied with the Ferrari 488. But I think, I think because I got that time and I I pulled up the 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 time like the list of times that I've had. It just put me off for the next few laps. <laughs> what is going on? Why am I in a storm? Oh my god, man. That's ridiculous. Alright, I think we should engine swap this thing, because we can put the hybrid um, 918 engine in it. I feel like it'd be kind of funny to slap that in it and try it out like that. Oh, God. I mean, power is cool and all, but I kind of also want a little bit of traction and a little bit of grip, so maybe instead of just doing that, let's just do a little bit of this as well. Bring it maybe to the top of S2, because I think that is very much possible with this car. Uh, without kind of overdoing it and bringing it into into X class, so I think with what we have selected, uh, I mean everything here is adjustable anyway. So the only thing I'm going to do is try to just make it a tiny bit lighter and maybe just a tiny bit faster. So if we can bring this thing just just to the top of uh, of S2 without dipping into X class, um, that would be spot on. So if you do that. Perfect. There we go. Because I don't want to bring it into x class and then drive it around and not being able to take like take part in any races or anything like that. So, here it is with 953 horsepower and it's still a rear-wheel drive. 
It's just as crazy and just as absurd as it was before. Now with a much faster engine. Oh. Still able to pull some serious Gs in the corners as well. Jesus Christ. I don't think this is going to be OP, OP or meta for anything, but <laughs> it's able to do some serious numbers, I'll tell you that. Alright, I want to try it now. I want to try it again. Do the same thing as before and try, just try to see or compare it to some of the other ones. So, Aerodromal Sprint. Let's bring it on that and then try it out. See what sort of time we can squeeze out with it. Again, uh, don't, 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 like, don't get it twisted. Like, it's not going to be like as good as some of the the crazy OP cars like the BTTB and stuff like that or the the Brabham or anything like that. It's not going to be. But it's going to be close. It is definitely going to be close. I also think it's my battery in my controller. That's the issue. I think that's probably what's causing the the random things to disconnect. Like my, the, my controller to randomly disconnect. I think that's the thing. Alright. Let's try. Do one run with it tuned like this and see what happens. Jesus. I was kind of expecting the power to be a little bit of an issue with it, but... Not at all. This thing rips. Ugh. Try to push it as fast as I possibly can through some of these corners, which is... Of course, I'm not going to be able to keep up with the... The BTTV, that thing is just way too OP. But you can see how grippy it is around these corners. Even the way I built it. I mean, especially the way I built it, because, I mean, I tried to make it grippy, but also have, like, a decent enough top speed. So it doesn't really struggle at this bit right here. So I feel like some of the cars, if I add like too much air or something like that, it will end up... It will end up like kind of doing a bit of a slippy slip, you know what I mean? Or sorry, the other way around. It's not going to slip, but it's not going to have a, a high top speed if I, if I had too much air. But if it's if I got rid of air like this, it's going to do a bit of a slippy slip. But it's fine. It's, just, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. It's actually quite, quite composed. I mean, it's my driving as well. Oh my god. That was, I almost lost the rear end. It's my driving that's kind of helping it keep keep this thing under control, but it's... It's not as bad as I kind of initially expected, because most of these cars... These race cars that we have... Really? Most of these race cars that we have here are good for, like, basically being kind of close to stock, if that makes sense. You're not going to have these cars do, you know... Like, way, way faster times. It's just not going to work. But, but, um, it's uh, it's still really fast. Even if I'm not able to compete against the, the highest end of the highest end of people, if that makes sense. It's still able to do quite well. Anyway, that was it for the 911 RSR. Uh, to get this thing, by the way, if you're new to the, the way this game works, get your 20 points. Just kind of do random things that you have selected here for the week. Just do them and you get your 20 points. And also, if you want to get the uh, SL65, you can do more things and you get more points. That's pretty much it. But that's it for the 911. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see more videos like this on the channel, then again, subscribe to the channel. And you get to be, you know, updated whenever I upload a brand new video. Which is, which is what it does. Anyway, thank you for watching, everybody. But I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Peace out.